This is a paid advertisement for spin brush powered toothbrushes. What does this spin brush and this fossil have in common? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Miria Perez, a paleontologist and fossil expert. This is my desk, and this right here is an ancient dinosaur tooth. I'm a kind of paleontologist that specifically works on cleaning the fossils themselves. I'm called a fossil preparator. Most fossils arrive from the field covered in dirt and need a lot of cleaning to do upon arrival. Before fossils can be safely transported to me, paleontologists out in the field have to preserve the bones at the site of the dig. The fossil and all the dirt surrounding the area where the fossil is found gets dug out and covered in this gooey mixture to form a hard protective covering called a field jacket. The fossil jacket making process is actually really fun and I'm gonna show you how we do it. These are my supplies for making a field jacket. We have paper towels to cover the fossil. We have plaster powder, water to mix with that plaster powder, and burlap, which I've cut into little mini strips. Now, making a fossil jacket that in the field, we would actually do with a fossil that's bigger than this, but for this purposes, we're gonna make a tiny mini version of a fossil jacket. So let's take our paper towel, let's cover our fossil to create a barrier between the fossil and the plaster. Maybe we'll dip a little bit of water to kind of make sure that paper towel kind of sticks and forms to our fossil. And now what we're gonna do is mix the plaster. So I'm going to just sprinkle it in the water that I have in this little bowl here. Now the fun part happens. We get to mix the plaster and it's really messy and goopy. It feels pretty good. So I'm going to grab my little burlap strips and dip them in. I'm gonna just get the excess off and start making our jacket. And for our purposes, I'm just gonna make a half jacket. What happens is the bottom is supported and you can access the fossil from the other side. And right now I'm just taking some of my extra plaster and smoothing out the burlap so when it dries, it's not sharp. So I'm gonna take my gloves off and we are done. Once the fossil jacket dries, it looks kind of like this. We then transport the fossil back to the lab for cleaning, and we use several tools to clean the fossils. My favorite tool to use is, drum roll please, a toothbrush. I use water to give fossils that are sturdy enough a scrub with toothbrush bristles like these. You have to be careful when you're scrubbing not to remove any of the bone. Depending on the fossil, you can use different brushing movements. Hey, this reminds me of when I brushed my own teeth. When brushing my teeth, I like to use spin brush and electric toothbrush. Spin brush's powerful circular motion helps me effectively remove tartar from my teeth. Very similar to how I remove dirt from 70 million year old fossils. Dinosaur teeth tell us a lot about how they lived, what type of food they ate, how they got their food, and how they digested it. Teeth are much harder than bone, which is why they fossilize more readily. In fact, we only know about certain dinosaur species because their teeth were uncovered and then cleaned by fossil preparators like me. So next time you brush your teeth, you can actually pretend that you're cleaning a fossil. Remember to take your time, be careful to clean all the grime away, and remember to use the right tools.